kind of this morning, I was like, right, Trey Young is he's struggled from the field this year. We there's no way around it, right? He's a high frequency guy, but his accuracy just hasn't been there. He's majority done a lot of his shooting from the mid range this year, which is like I was quite shocked to see. I haven't watched a ton of Hawks basketball. Um so yeah, I was expecting, you know, maybe a sweep, but Trey Young's always capable of going off for 50, winning you a game. You've got John Collins there that matches up well against Boston. I'm expecting a gentleman sweep, but I think it's going to be a shootout. But the, the Atlanta's not going to be able to stop the Celtics. The question is, can the Celtics figure out their defense quickly enough to be able to stop Atlanta? Now, I'd like Boston to come out and win game one. I think that should be a statement game, not just for this series, but for the entire playoffs. Like, yo, we smoked them, absolutely cooked them, and then it's done, right? And then you just start, you build off that momentum, feed off that win, and try and get this over as quick as possible. Well, I, I really don't want to be going deep into p- playoff series against teams that you should be sweeping. Yeah, you, you mentioned that you think it's going to be a gentleman's suit. I think there's exactly two ways that this series plays out. I'm going into my Doctor Strange mode here, but I've played out all the scenarios, and there's not just one. I think there's two ways the series plays out. I think it's either just a straight-up sweep and a beatdown. I think that's option number one. Yeah. That's obviously what we prefer. You come out, take care of business. Option number two is did the Celtics let you know the narrative that we thought was going to happen, did they let that seep into their heads? Were they expecting Miami? I mean, we've played Miami in the conference finals two out of the last three years. That's a rivalry. That's a that's one that you, you can see them getting their minds around and getting up for. What's one thing that we've seen pretty consistently from this team this year is they do have a tendency to let their guard down. They yeah. have a tendency to come out a little bit flat if they're if they're not you know psyching themselves up properly and i kind of hate talking in, in this manner of you know coming with the right energy and effort because that's you know it's very subjective it's, it's a, yeah and it's a trope right exactly all exactly. the time yeah i get it but, but, it but, is... but we have seen them just fall flat in games that it's like they have no business losing and it's why they're not the one seed is because they had that happen too many times yeah. this year so i'm with you that this game this series is going no longer than five but if it's a gentleman sweep like you say I actually think the game that they're the most vulnerable for is game one coming up here on Saturday. And I think we've seen that in other series in years past. You think of a lot of those Orlando Magic teams that had the Evan Fournier, Aaron Gordon, Vucevic. They always felt like they would steal game one from Toronto or from Milwaukee. And then they would get dominated Dominated. for four straight games. So I I could absolutely see that playing out for the Celtics. So I think game one is their most vulnerable game. If they come out with the right, you know, mindset. And like you said, just make a statement. I don't think there's any turning back in this series.